Hey guys, in the previous lecture, we looked at value selection in, in arrays, also called as arrays indexing and slicing for single dimensional arrays. In this lecture, we're going to look at arrays indexing and slicing for two dimensional arrays. So before we start, how do you create a two dimensional array? There are multiple ways of doing that. The first one is using random.randint method of NumPy. So what's going to happen here is we're specifying the size, which is five rows and five columns. So we're going to get a uh, five by five array. Uh, with values from uh, 0 to 10 okay uh, so if we start this guy shift enter and we examine x2 as you can see we have values from 0 to 10 and it's a 5 by 5 array uh, there's a one more way of creating uh, multi-dimensional two-dimensional arrays is using the uh, numpy's ec arrange method okay we looked at this method in the previous lecture so for example if you want values uh 25 values in 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 an array oh god it's gonna change the formatting here because it's taking the markdown as the formatting so let's make this into yeah i think that should be good so yeah so if you want a single dimension array containing 25 members 25 values this is what we're going to do right np dot range 25 so this is going to give us a single dimension array but here we want a two dimensional arrays with five rows and five columns so how, what what can we do then so we can use the reshape method that we looked at earlier okay so reshape this into five rows and five columns <clears throat> by the way as you can see we have this method here of numpy and then we have another method of numpy right so we're using multiple dots here this is completely uh, legit way of doing it okay this is also called method chaining because we have multiple methods chained together so this is also called method chaining okay just some extra information for you guys um so let's shift enter and we press x2 and as you can see we have five rows and five columns now um yeah so now let's start our array indexing lecture so how do you index this array okay so for example if you want this guy here one what is the what is the index for that guy so this is on zeroth row and it's set zero one so the first column okay so zero throw because as you know the in the row indexes start from zero just like columns zero one two three and so on so similarly for column this is the zeroth column first column yeah so if you want to access this guy here one what we're gonna do is x2 and we're gonna say zeroth column comma first column and that's just gonna give us one imagine we want this guy here which is 12 okay so this is zero column first column second column okay so it's in second column so we're gonna do x2 second column and then we're gonna do zero index of column first index second so it's in two comma two and there you have it we have 12. so this is how to how do you access values in a two-dimensional array how can we slice a chunk of this two-dimensional array? For example, if you want this guy here, okay, we want these many values here. So how can we do that? So as you can see, what we're gonna do here is x2, and we're gonna use uh, two colons here, separated by comma. So the first thing, the first slice is gonna be for rows, the second slice is gonna be for columns. So, so we want this chunk here. So what we're gonna do is, uh, this is the zero throw. This is the first row and this is the second row. So we're going to start from 0 and 1 and going up till 2. So we're going to do 0, 2. By the way, this 2, this second index won't be included in the result because it always stops just right before that. So it's going to get the 0th index and the first index of the row. Okay. So this is the row part. It always starts from row comma column right we looked at here row was first column comes the second so we have this chunk here and now look, look at the columns so we want all the columns right we want all the columns from zero one two three four so we're gonna just leave this as is that means when you leave this as is that means it will give you all the columns there are and as you can see we have this chunk here that we wanted zero one two three four five six seven eight nine awesome right uh, let's look at one more example imagine you want this chunk here 17 18 27 23 so this guy you want 18 and you want 22 and you want 23 
Okay, so how can we access these four elements? Again, the row index is zero, one, two, three. So it starts at three, it goes till four. So it should be, <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is x2, it's gonna be three. So it's gonna start at three and it's gonna get everything there is after three because it ends here right at the fourth index. So let's just say three and everything after three. Comma, now let, let's look at the columns here. So column, column indexes will be, this is zero, one, Two. So it will start at 2 because we want 17, 18, 22, 23. So it will start at 2, which will 3, 4. It will go till 4, but it won't include the fourth index. It will include the index right before that. So we can do 2, comma 4, right? So again, 3 and give me everything after 3 and then 2, comma 4 because 0, 1, 2 starts at 2 17 starts at 2 right it's in the the index uh, the index of this column is 2 and then it 3 4 so this 4 whenever we whenever you have this value here after a colon this value won't be included just right before that it stops so it will stop at third the third index as you have it uh, 17 18 22 23 uh, so that's how you do it one more quick thing i'm going to show you guys is uh, how, how can you reverse an array? Okay, to reverse an array, what you can do is x2, give me all the rows and reverse them. Give me all the columns and reverse them. And there you have it. This is like an opposite, completely, completely reverse array of this guy. Even the rows are reversed by, by this method and also the columns are reversed by this method here. So yeah, so there you have it guys.